This is Adi Sharma solution class 12 chapter 19. Exercise is 19.8 indefinite integrals we are talking about. Now this question cos 2x divided by cos x plus sin x whole square. Now we have the direct formula for cos 2x. So we'll try to get cos x plus sin x from cos 2x. Because cos 2 theta, what is the formula? It's cos square theta minus sin square theta. That you already know. This is what we are going to use. Denominator we have cos x plus sin x whole square. Now this cos square theta minus sin square theta will is actually a squared minus b squared. So cos 2x is essentially cos cos x minus sin x into cos x plus sin x. Because it is cos square x minus sin square x. So a minus b, a plus b that will come. Okay, let us integrate now. So we have cos x plus sin x and here we have cos x minus sin x. In the denominator, we have cos x plus sin x ka whole square. So what we got from cos 2x is a term which can be cancelled out with the denominator. So we have cos x minus sin x in the numerator, cos x plus sin x in the denominator. And please remember this question because there are multiple questions of the same sort which are coming in the later part. So take this cos x plus sin x equals to t. t. When you differentiate this, what do you get? Cos x is minus sin x sin x is cos x. So we have negative sin x plus cos x and this is equal to dt by dx. Now take this dx on the left that is cross multiply. What do you get? Actually it's cos x minus sin x into dx equals to dt and this cos x minus sin x into dx is already there in the numerator which you see here. So from here to here is actually dt. So let us replace this by dt because cos x plus sin x we have already taken it as t. So this is how it will go. The numerator becomes dt. The denominator is t. So it's all about log. So take ln log base e basically plus and this is a constant of integration and ln modulus of t. Please remember modulus is essential. So you have ln. This is cos x plus sin x plus constant of integration. This is your answer. So this is the result I was talking about. And this is the way you're going to write it. It's a neat and clean thing because when I actually explain you, I give you all the options what we have used. Now, this kind of questions, premium, remember, there is a trick or you can call it as a tip. See, always we try to take the denominator as something so that the numerator can be changed. Here we have in the denominator x minus b. x minus b is what? It's t. That is what we have imagined, assumed. So what will be x? Because x you have to replace it uh, in a short while. Now we need to differentiate both the sides. So 90% of the time this denominator is taken as t, some part of the denominator or whole denominator. But 10% of time the things may change. So this x minus a in the numerator will become what? It's actually x is b plus t. So b plus t minus a which is b minus a plus t. So you can call it as b minus a plus t or b plus t minus a. Denominator is what? Sin x minus b. So x minus b you can take it as t, sin t and this is dt of course. Why dt has come? Because when you differentiate x equals to b plus t, dx will be equal to dt. That is why dt can be replaced by dx. How about this? I assign b plus t minus a. Let us take b minus a separately and 10 t separately. And now apply the formula of sin a plus b. That is b minus a, I am call calling it as a capital A. t I am calling as capital B. So sin A plus B. What is sin A plus B? Sin A, you know the formula, right? Sin A, which is B minus A in this case, cos T plus cos A, that is cos B minus A, and sin T. So we have applied the formula, sin T is in the denominator, so just include this sin T in the denominator. So what do you get here? This gets cancelled. Please remember sin B minus A and cos B minus A, they are they are constant. They don't have any variable. Neither t nor x. So sin b minus a can be taken outside. Cos t by sin t is cot t. C-O-T. Cot t. So I am taking this sin b minus a which is essentially a constant. Integration will only happen for cot t. How about this one? Cos b minus a. Cos b minus a is again a constant because b minus a has no t, no x. And Integration of dt because nothing is inside so only x dx we generally do means x will come. 
so here integration of dt will d the t will come so cot t has a direct uh, integration you i have already discussed with it with you it is ln sin t with a modulus cos b minus a remain like this integration of dt will be t only so cos b minus a into t this is the whole uh, integration result with a constant of integration but it's not complete because t you have included by yourself nobody told you to do, do that the question is only asking about x so you have to convert now t to x so wherever t is there just replace it by x minus b so it will be modulus of sin x minus b this plus t and t will be replaced by x minus b and this will be cos b minus a plus constant of integration this is the whole thing so t will be equal to x minus b that we have replaced this is your final answer so this is what i was talking about and this is the way to write everything clearly this is the way you need to put it on your paper with your pen now sin x minus alpha by sin x plus alpha again same thing from previous experience we have learned most of the thing or most of the uh, letting assuming is done for the denominator so x plus alpha let me again reiterate most of the time this is the case but don't take it as the, uh, every time 10% time you may not be able to or you will not take the denominator as t but here the question is very simple so x plus alpha is equal to t x becomes t minus alpha when you differentiate it dx by dt is equal to 1 because and you take this on the right so dx will be dt how about integration see x minus alpha what is x t minus alpha so t minus alpha minus alpha t minus alpha minus alpha is t minus 2 alpha so this goes up t minus 2 alpha in the denominator what do you get again sign is already there but because x plus alpha was already t so sine t minus 2 alpha by sin t this is dt now sin a minus b if this formula is known to you this you can proceed with the solution sin a cos b minus cos a sin b this is the formula of sin a minus b sin a cos b minus cos cos a sin b so now you have the denominator sin t already so there will be cancellation on the first part the first term so cos 2 alpha is simply a constant please remember alpha is a constant so cos 2 alpha integration of dt minus this sin 2 alpha comes out cos t by sin t is cot t cot t dt so this is cos 2 alpha integration of dt is t only sin 2 alpha cot t has a standard result what is the standard result it's ln that is log base e modulus of sin t plus constant of integration now just replace this t by x plus alpha wherever you get t x plus alpha has to be replaced by wherever t it is so x plus alpha for t cos 2 alpha was already there sin 2 alpha in this case ln and sin in place of t just write x plus alpha because t we have included ourselves and this is constant of integration this is your final result all right so this is the result i was talking about and this is the clean step by step uh, reproduction of whatever we have seen just now i explained you now what do you see here 1 plus 10 alpha and 1 minus 10 alpha you'll see a similar question we have just completed okay so we will try to make it so that it becomes easy because if you place 1 minus 10 alpha equals to t you are not going to get anything so there should be some other way what will be the other another way tan alpha can be replaced by sin alpha by cos alpha because tan alpha is nothing but sin sin alpha by cos alpha same thing i've done here now cross multiply this is cos alpha this goes here plus sin alpha and then 1 into cos alpha is cos alpha same thing cos alpha into 1 cos alpha sin, sin alpha into 1 is sin alpha minus sin alpha divided by cos alpha now you can just cancel this cos alpha cos alpha okay so this is the same question which we have completed just now just now cos alpha plus sin alpha cos alpha minus sin alpha now those who have already uh, you know are comfortable with the previous question they can just go about it means they can just go move forward and uh, what we will do here is we are going to complete it see these this way the question is formed cot t plus 1 and cot t minus 1 has the same scenario same solution but i'll show you a question where same thing will have a different solution you'll just see so there there are some catches which you have to 
actually catch in the boundary on the boundary line. So cos x minus sin x equals to t. Let us differentiate it will be minus cos x minus cos x equals to uh, dt dx goes up. So you have to cross multiply. So what do you get? You get minus sin x plus cos x because negative I have taken outside. So sin x plus cos x will be there. Dx will be equal to dt. So this whole content is equal to dt. So you can call it as sin x plus cos x into dx is negative dt. So just write it as a negative dt. So you have a negative dt divided by cos x minus sin x is nothing but t. So what is what is there? See, it's simply ln modulus of what is t? If you remember, cos x minus sin x was t. So just write it. I'm just uh, trying to uh, reduce one step. I'm writing it here only. Cos x minus sin x plus cos square of integration. There is a negative. And uh, this negative you can just keep or you can make it more simpler if you want. This is your answer. So this is how we go about it. 1 plus tan x, 1 minus tan x, cot x plus 1, cot x minus 1, same result, same solution. But there will be one question which will come just now and I'll show you always the, there is, the grass is not green. Okay, we have just, just uh, done a question like this, completed this question. So this x minus a equals to t, just put x minus equals to t, you will get something out of it. Okay, let's try it. This is the trick. Means whenever you have something which which is like this and you cannot go about it, the best way is to try and check whether x minus a equals to t if you put, we are going to get something out of it. Let's see. x minus a equals to t, x will be equal to a plus t. Now differentiate both the sides. You will get dx equals to dt. Because a is a constant and because we are differentiating with respect to t, it will be dx by dt equals to 1. So dx will be equal to dt. That we are going to use just now. How about this cos x? See, x is a plus t. So cos a plus t it will be. This x I have just written for your sake. You just need to eliminate it. Same here, cos x. In place of x, you are going to write t. So cos a plus t we are talking about and cos t we are talking about. It's not x. I have just written it for, your, uh, for saying that x is a plus t and here x is t. So cos a plus plus b formula cos a cos b minus sin a sin b that you already know cos t is already there in the denominator so this x will not be there in the numerator also you can just cancel it out okay cos t here now let us integrate this in terms of dt in terms of dt cos t cos t gets cancelled cos a is a constant so cos cos a you can take is just take it outside integration of dt will be t here sin a you can take it outside sin by sin t by cos t is uh, tan t an integration of tan t has a standard result. What is the standard result? You already know it. So let's just make it simpler. t cos a minus sin a. It's ln modulus of something. If you remember. See sin t, is, sin t by cos t is tan t. So when you put cos t equals to t. You will get the required result. That's why you can remember like that. So ln will be ln modulus of sec t. Now just replace x wherever it is. So t content has to be replaced. So t is uh, x minus a. So x minus a into cos a minus sin a. And then sec t is uh, sec, sec x minus a plus constant of integration. So this has become so easier. So this is the result I was talking about. And uh, it's a clean version, a printed uh, version for you. Now as I was talking about this, uh, these previous questions I just mentioned that you will see that all the questions of the same sort will not lead to your, to a similar answer because you know sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 that we what we are going to use it here. So in place of 1 I am writing sin square theta plus cos square theta. Now this is minus what is sin 2x sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta that you can use. So sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta just write it as 2 sin x cos x in this case. In the denominator Again, 1 is sin square theta plus cos square theta. I am just taking root on separating this root because I just want to show you that something square will come and we can cancel this root and square uh, just now. 1 again will be replaced by sin square x plus cos square x. How about sin 2x? Sin 2x is 2 sin theta cos theta. So I am writing 2 sin theta and cos theta here. But what is the formula? a square plus b square minus 2ab is a minus b whole square. A square plus B square plus 2AB is A plus B whole square. You already know that. 
cos x minus sin x, you can write it as sin x minus or cos x also. But don't worry about that. You'll see why I have written this cos x minus sin x. I've not taken sin x minus cos x, okay? You'll just see. So cos x plus sin x whole square in the denominator. This root root gets cancelled with a square. So you are only left with cos x minus sin x divided by cos x plus sin x. Now, just go back to previous questions we have seen. This you can solve it easily. But the answer which I, with the approach we are going to take just now is different. You'll just see that it's not always that you do the way others are doing. Sometimes you're, you, everyone has a neural network which thinks differently, right? So you will think differently here. One more, one more way. Because previously cos x plus sin x we kept as, we take it, took it as t. Then they were differentiated. We differentiated cos x minus sin x came uh, upstairs, that is in the numerator. That's how we got log. But here, I'm dividing whole numerator denominator by cos x. So cos x by cos x is 1. Minus sin x by cos x is 10. Cos x by cos x is 1. Sin x by cos x is 10. So 1 minus 10x divided by 1 plus 10x. And then you integrate. And you have to remember or recall one formula. 10a minus 10b by 1 plus 10a 10b is 10a minus b. Remember? 1 is nothing but 10 45 degree or you can call it as 10 pi by 4. So 10 pi by 4 is equivalent to 1. So just write in place of 1 10 pi by 4. In the denominator 1 plus 10 uh, x is there. So multiply it with 10 pi by 4. Now formula becomes 10a minus 10b 1 plus 10a 10b. A is pi by 4. B is x. So 10a minus 10b by 1 plus 10a 10b becomes 10a minus 10b. 10a minus b actually. So it's 10 pi by 4 minus x dx. What is the integration of 10? Sin x by cos x. So cos x equals to t. So log will come. So log 1 by cos x is sec x. So sec x sec pi by 4 minus x. Okay. So this is a different approach for the same question we have already done in the in this exercise. But the answer has not come as of now. Not yet. Because pi by 4 minus x has to be differentiated. When you differentiate it, it negative 1 will come and that has to be divided. 9 when negative 1 divide division or multiplication remains the same. You know already know that. So negative is already there. You can keep it like this, but we never keep or we don't keep negative outside. Sometimes we may keep if there is nothing possible. But here it, there are certain things which we can do with this. See, a log b is nothing but a log b raise a. So this negative goes to the power of sec pi by 4 minus x. And you know that x raised minus 1 is 1 by x. So we have ln 1 by sec pi by 4 minus x plus constant of integration. Now what is 1 by sec pi by 4 minus x? It's cos pi by 4 minus x. So the final answer is ln, that is log base to e, cos pi by 4 minus x, always in the, in the modulus, that is very important, plus constant of integration. So this is all about uh, this question, the different approach we have taken. You can take the previous approach also, there is no harm. But just to know that same question can lead to different answer or the, the presentation of the answer can be different way, in a, in a different way. So you need to be very careful about this. This question uh, we'll take in the next discussion. Till then stay tuned, have a good one, bye-bye.